Yo, hello, my name is Westbam and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In today's lesson I want to show you how I made this 8 second long seamless looping thing of a, well, I don't know, a burning axe. What it is and how I made it I will show you in this tutorial, but it's basically a looped CC Mr. Mercury. Then I used a cross as an overlay or a mat. And then I applied some vector blur and some glow to give it this strange looking effect. Now, if you know how to do that, please go on. And if you don't, please go on and watch my tutorial. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna make a new composition. So new composition, and I'm gonna make it 1280 by 720. The loop is eight seconds long, but I need some extra frames to overlay. So I'm gonna make the length, I don't know, 16 seconds. Now let's uh, make a new layer. So right click new, new solid and make the solid comp size and I'm gonna make it white. I did an entire tutorial about looping CC Mr. Mercury, so I'm not gonna repeat that, but for now I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and I will apply Mr. Mercury on there. This is the effect, it's just some blobs falling down. Let me put this at fit. And the falling down part is caused by the gravity, so I'm gonna set the gravity at zero. And now the blobs will be shooting every direction. And the way to loop this is very easy. I'm gonna jump to my eight second mark and I'm gonna place a keyframe for the birth rate. Now this is the default amount of blobs. I think I'm gonna change the birth rate to 1.5 so I get a bit more, a bit more dense now. And I'm gonna place a keyframe. Next I'm gonna jump up one frame by pressing the page down button, eight and zero one. And I'm gonna put the birth rate at zero. So if I now scrub to my timeline, the blobs will disappear. Okay, I think it's a good idea to trim my comp, so I'm gonna drag my time indicator over here and I'm gonna right click and say trim comp to work area and let's rename it, hit the enter key and this is the pure mercury and let's make another composition, same settings except this time the length will be the length of our loop and that's 8 seconds, cool. And let's rename this as well, so this is the looped mercury. I'm gonna drag in my pure mercury and I'm gonna scrub with my timeline some way at a nice half point, I think over here. And then I do edit, split layer. And now I got two layers. I'm gonna drag one to the left side, holding down the shift key. And I'm gonna drag one to the right side, holding down the shift key. And now to get the off looping part, I'm gonna change the blending mode from normal to add. And if everything went well, I got this perfect loop now. You don't see the transitions and in the end, it is looping. Okay, good, perfect. On to the next phase. I'm gonna make a cross. So again, a new composition. And I'm also gonna make this eight seconds long and this will be my cross mat. Now, all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make a new solid, make it white as well, and I'm gonna make a white cross. Now, the easy way to do that is to go to the transform options, untoggle this chain for the scale, and let's make it something like this. I don't know exactly. And for the rotation, I'm gonna put it at 45 degrees. I got one side of my cross done. And now for the easy part, select your white solid, hit Ctrl D for duplicate, and the other one is gonna be minus 45 degrees. And here we go, here we got our cross. We can always come back here later if it's too thin or too thick. Uh, I think it's too thin actually, so I think I'm gonna make this uh, eight for the width. So scale eight. Okay, the next step, let's make the, the main composition. So I'm gonna put the uh, loop mercury in a new composition. Let's call this the main one. And I'm also going to drag in my cross mat. Make sure your cross is on top of the loop. And next you gotta change the track mat mode. You can either pick alpha or luma. Uh, alpha because we have an alpha channel, luma because we only have white. I think I'm gonna stick with the alpha. Once I did that, you might see that, well, we still got a loop Mr. Mercury, but it's only inside this cross. Now, one more thing I wanna do here before I continue. I think there is a bit too much white in the center of our cross. And one way to fix that, I'm simply gonna drag my cross in there again, and I'm gonna add an effect, the fill effect, because I wanna make my cross black. Now it's red, but I want it to be black, so I'm picking the black color, hitting the S for scale, and I'm gonna scale her down something like so as you might see i think it's too high now so i'm simply going to select my cross click on the ellipse tool with the cross selected double click on the ellipse tool and i made this ellipse so now there's this perfect circle on my cross 
I'm going to shrink the mask expansion a bit to make the cross even smaller. And one cool trick I found was one old school effect called a choker, the simple choker. So if we apply that here as well, and if we're going to choke the mat now, you should see the cross is getting smaller and everything is getting more rounded. That's what the choke is doing. Now I want to add some motion to this and I could add an expression, but before I explain that, I think uh, it's just way easier to do it manually. So I put a keyframe and now I just drag to the timeline, adding random keyframes at random places at random values. Uh, one thing I need to be sure of is that the first keyframe, that's over here, you select the cross mat and hit U and you can see all the keyframes. So the first keyframe, I want the keyframe now is 4.8. So if I jump to the end of my composition, I also want it to be 4.8 or we lose the loop. Well, you can just put some random values over here. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. I, I just want some motion in here. Just random values, scrubbing to the timeline, random values. One other trick I can do is I can add a little blur. So the simple uh, fast blur. I, I think a fast blur of 10 is okay now. And we are done with our main composition and let's make it look cool. So the main composition, I'm gonna drag it in yet another composition. So we got our black little cross and our main cross and our loop CC Mr. Mercury. The effect, the golden bullet to make this work is a factor blur. So CC factor blur, gonna apply it on there. And once I play with the amount, look at the magic, look what's happening. Uh, something like 70 will do, I think. So if I do a quick preview now, you see the cool effect we made. So this is uh, basically it. Uh, we can make it look a bit prettier. I'm going to add some brightness and contrast to make the white parts pop even more. So I'm just going to make it super bright. And then I need to decrease my contrast. So now the white is whiter and the black is blacker. I could have done this with the levels adjustment, but this is way easier. And another effect, the standard glow effect. Stylized glow, Whoop, pop it on there. And the glow threshold, well normally I make this lower, but for this time I'm gonna make it higher, all the way up to 100%. And I'm gonna increase the glow radius a bit. And uh, this is with the glow, and this is without the glow. So the glow really, really helps. And if you're not really happy with the way the inner cross looks, you know, you can just go back to the cross mat or the remain and just change it however you want. You can even go back to the cross mat and change this shape if you want to. For all our good people over here who know Video Copilot, there's this one cool effect. That effect is called Video Copilot Color Vibrance. And if I pop that on this, because it's black and white, we can have this very insane spooky effect. So uh, let's change the color a bit to be a bit different. And uh, yeah, I think this is it for now. I showed you how to loop Mr. Mercury. I showed you how to make this cross-shaped mat with some little inlay that's animating a bit. Uh, I showed you about CC Vector Blur to get this cool stylized effect. Now I showed you to make it a bit more white with some brightness and contrast, add a little glow, and then finish it off with some color using Video Copilot's Color Vibrance. Well, this was a quick tutorial, a short one, but it was easy. My name is Wes Bam. Thank you all for watching. And I see you all next time.